Diabetes is a simple disease. It's not a disease. It's a metabolic change. Diabetes is not a disease of sugar. Sugar is only an indicator. Diabetes is a disease of liver where metabolism is completely upset. And so you have got to look after the whole human being. And the whole human being includes the most important part of the human being is human mind. Where is the mind? Never mind. Even your doctor thinks your mind is in the brain. And that's why mental diseases are treated with chemical drugs which only affect the brain. Mind is not in the brain. Remember that. Mind is not in the brain. Mind is the consciousness. The whole human being is the mind. So if your mind is pleased, your diabetes is gone. If your mind is pleased, your heart disease is gone. If your mind is pleased, your cancer is gone. You hate somebody, your diabetes goes up. You hate somebody, you, cancer, you get a cancer. And you are very angry with someone and want to destroy somebody, you get ang hypertension and so many other diseases. Now right from the beginning of my medical studies, in the medical school I was thinking, how are we treating human body as a machine? Human body is not a machine. You are one cell to begin with when you are made in the mother's womb. And that one cell is divided into 120 trillion cells today in your body. A human body is a colony of 120 human cells which are human beings. Each one of them is capable of doing what, the, what a man does or a woman does. And then they love each other so much. Love one another so much they talk to each other. And if you hate someone which you are not supposed to do, then the cells get confused after some time. And then if you go on hating somebody, the cells get so confused that they say, why is this man doing that? Because I love everyone. Why is this man doing that? So the cells start hating each other, which is called autoimmune disease. You hear of some horrible diseases. These are all autoimmune diseases because the cells hate each other. So diabetes is also coming somewhere near there, not fully there, but somewhere near there. So the most important part is keep your mind tranquil, love the whole world and have a healthy mind. You know what a healthy mind is? A mind with enthusiasm to work. You want to work and enthusiasm is compassionate. You want to help somebody. And if you have these two qualities of health and heart, you probably become a human being. But our education system doesn't do that. Education system tries to give you a job and money. So uh, big IITs and all, they say, how much does my student get salary next year? That's the yardstick. I tell them no. How many good human beings have you produced in this world? And that's the most important part of educational system. The education must aim at making healthy minds and not just wealthy carriers. If we did that, a lot of more promotes will come out. Today you make a doctor, he wants to be a specialist. And the next day he wants to drive a Audi car or a Mercedes-Benz car. And he just wants to get a gadget and put angiogram for everybody. Whoever comes to the hospital is an angiogram. And the atrocities that happen in corporate hospitals are only to be seen to be believed. Doctors are induced to do more work. So they are overdoing, over, over investigation, over diagnosis, over treatment. And this is accepted fact. A recent study which is published last week showed that 2,500 American doctors were interviewed. And they said 50% of what they do is not for the patient's benefit but for their benefit. 50% of angioplasties and bypass surgeries are done for the doctor's benefit, the hospital benefit, not for the patient's benefit. And when you publish this data and try to do good to people, people don't like you. <clears throat> you will be surprised now. We have now got a new system for treatment of heart disease. After a heart attack, <coughs> we can get you back to normal with natural methods. And one of my patients doctor patients in Pune, he has taken this forwards, one Vinod Marathe, he has taken it forwards and we have now got a lot of drugs which are accepted as treatment for heart disease after a heart attack. All this I am say, telling you because it takes courage, courage of conviction and they oppose the main line, main mainstream which Pramod has done very well and I hope Pramod will really get, become a great man and take knowledge forwards in the world. And now knowledge has really gone forwards in medicine. That 
Diabetes can be controlled without any effort on the part of the doctor and the medicine. And this is a very great improvement. So, you know, like for example, in the olden, olden days also it's like that. Ptolemy said in the second century, sun goes around the world. For five or more centuries, everybody repeated that sun goes around the world, sun goes around the world, sun goes around the world. Knowledge didn't go forward. In seventh century, Copernicus said, earth goes around the sun. And then knowledge went forwards. So today, knowledge has gone forwards in diabetes. Because Pramod said, diabetes can be treated without any drugs. How true. I want more Pramod and more Indians in the Indian scenario. We don't want American thinkers here. Unfortunately, what happened after our independence, political independence, we didn't have intellectual independence. We still are slaves of the Western thought. I was fighting this cholesterol ghost for last 50 years. And I opposed cholesterol, the thought of cholesterol being bad for health, etc. For 50 years. And there's so much of effort to put me down. Actually, you'll be surprised. In 84, I was giving a lecture in American College of Cardiology in Boston. After I talked, the senior most professor came down and told me, Dr. Hegde, do you have any other work in Boston? I said, no. No, you better go because it's already 4 o'clock. It will be dark by about 5 o'clock in Boston. And the soya lobby is so powerful here. And they'll bump you off. And that was the threat. You would be surprised. But today I'm so happy. After 50 years, America says cholesterol is a friend. Cholesterol is not bad. Cholesterol is good. Actually, in India, we have been treating diabetics with the... With the what you call cholesterol lowering drug called statin. And we now know that statin pills, if you give to 10 people, one of them will become a diabetic in one year time. Today in India, there are 15, one, 15 million people taking statin. That means we are manufacturing 1.5 million diabetics every year. So that's why we say, oh, India is the diabetic capital of the world. Because we are manufacturing diabetes. So now that America says cholesterol is not bad, I think this ghost will also go. So with Pramod's effort, the two ghosts have died in the area of diabetes. A, statin, B, the other drugs. And one other thing I'll tell you, this is a secret, don't tell others. Don't go out and tell this and don't tell the media people. Please don't report this. Every drug that I give to a patient, there are two things you must know. A, if I give a drug to you, it doesn't mean it helps you because we only have statistical data. So we have, we have a group, this, this group it helps. So there's what's called NNT, number needed to treat unnecessarily, to have one effect. Take, for example, blood pressure tablet. If I give you a blood pressure lowering tablet, if you have blood pressure, you don't know, I don't know that whether you get the benefit. I have to give 850 people that tablet unnecessarily benefit one patient in the next five years. So that's called the NNT, number needed to treat. So, when I give you a blood pressure lowering tablet, you get 1 in 800 chance of getting benefit. Okay, then you say, okay, all that doesn't matter. Even then I'll take it. If you, you can take it, but what's the ADR ratio? What's the risk ratio? Every drug has dangerous side effects. And blood pressure tablet is a 2%. That means out of the 850 that I've given unnecessarily, 2%, that is 16 people will die in the next five years of my tablet. And one man will be saved from blood pressure lavages. If everybody is told this about every drug that he or she is taking, many people won't take the drugs at all.